A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 26th March. On the front page you have, Why not increase the VVPAT count? Asked the Supreme Court. So, Supreme Court is asking the Election Commission, Why is it restricting VVPAT machines to be used for only one uh, machine per constituency? So, now random checking is working fine is what Election Commission is saying. But then the Supreme Court Chief Justice of India, Ranjan Gagoi, says that no institution, however high, including the judiciary, should insulate itself from improvements. We are only asking you to do a little more for the sake of purity of the elections. We would like you to increase the physical counting. This is not about casting aspersions on you, but this is a question of satisfaction. Anyway, two is better than one, is it not? So this is what the Supreme Court said. While the Deputy Election Commission said, the uh, Commissioner said, We believe it is not required. Statistical data and expert views back everything we do. Now this is working absolutely right, but still we look to constantly improve our parameters. So this is going on regarding the VVPAT machines. Uh, we should know that the opposition had opposed the Supreme Court asking that at least 50% of the machines should be you know, verified by VVPAT. And this is Goyal's step down from jet board. So, banks assume control of cash-strapped airline jet airways and it look for new investors. We had already seen this bank-led resolution plan which is led by SBI too amongst the banks. So, this has been proposed to save jet airways which is under uh, debt. So, the debt was converted into equity. Uh, that was the plan put forth and now it has been put into effect. The uh, promoters of Jet Airways, the Coils, have stepped down. Then this is Karibi Hatao 2.0. Rahul promises to wipe out poverty. So Rahul Gandhi has said that I promise there will be justice for the poor. Congress guarantees that 20% families belonging to the poorest of the poor category will be given 72,000 rupees each annually. This is what he says. Then this is Supreme Court to consider our government's plea on services. So, our Madhya Party government of Delhi has approached the Supreme Court seeking a constitution of a larger bench to expeditiously decide the issue of control over administrative services in Delhi. So, Delhi is a special case because it's a national capital territory, it's a union territory for that matter and it is also having a directly elected government, a chief minister and a cabinet. A legislature. So that is why then uh, on administrative services the center stakes claim that services means the civil servants. So that would be under the central government. So while in states the civil servants are under the state, they function for the state. So that has been a conflict and uh, AAF has now, we had seen the Delhi crisis going before the Supreme Court too, but the ruling uh, you know, majorly favored the center. So now AAF has approached Supreme Court again on this issue of administrative services. He is asking for a larger constitution bench on the matter. On page 3 you have High Court notice to center on Jamate Islami ban. So the Jammu and Kashmir High Court has sought response from the government because a petition has filed challenging this ban on Jamate Islami which we have discussed for the last two days. On page 5 you have activist protests auction of artifacts from Tipu's armory. So there are these gold encrusted sword and shield which are among the items which would be auctioned. So an activist questions this auction which is going to take place in London. There are eight artifacts from the armory of Tipu Sultan which have uh, which have been raised, which have been you know the issue. The concerns have been raised among heritage activists that why they are being sold. These are India's national treasures. And this is PSLV C45 project will mark several firsts for ISRO. So, this is regarding PSLV C45 or MSAT mission, which uh, is scheduled for 1st April. So, it will be lifted off from Sri Hari Kota, the polar satellite launch vehicle. So, this will be a memorable lift off for the ISRO because first it says that this is the first attempt by ISRO to place payloads in three different orbits. And the chief payload, it is said, is 436 kg MSAT, which will be ejected into a 749 kilometer orbit. And after that, the fourth stage of the rocket will maneuver to a 504 kilometer orbit for releasing 28 international satellites. 
So these will be mini microsatellites. Here, these are 20 small foreign co-passenger satellites. Then next is minimum area maximum plants. So this is a man-made forest in Kottayam which is home to 4800 plant varieties and it has entered the record books now. This regarding the a man-made forest. On the editorial page, the first editorial is delaying bad news. So it says that banks that do not recognize their problems will likely not resolve them. So this is regarding again the NP issue non-performing assets and then next is out of the frying pan so this is regarding uh, the US president you know, and the Mueller investigation which is taking place so it says that it's too early for US president to put the Mueller investigation behind him so Robert Mueller he is uh, actually the you know, uh, the special counsel so U.S. President has won this rare reprieve in a 22-month investigation led by Special Counsel Robert Mueller into whether there was any collusion between him and, or members of his 2016 campaign and Russia and covert operatives vying to influence the outcome of presidential elections in U.S. He has given, you know, the Special Counsel Robert Mueller investigation has given, given him reprieve, but still he is not, his name is not clear. Then the lead article is the point of having democracy. So it says public policy must launch an assault on capability deprivation and rising unemployment. This is an article on, right, on nationalism, secularism, you know, how a just society should be formed by just means, not unjust uh, initiatives. And this is paradigm shift for TB control. So, this is regarding the government's ambitious target of ending TB by 2025, which is said to be impossible. But it says that sustaining the decline in TB is, a, is can be achieved. Then on the op-ed page, you have learning love from New Zealand. So, you can see that post the terrorist attack, there has been more of love and support than you know, hatred. So, hate has curdle the capacity for compassion in India. Will Indians take a leaf out of New Zealand's book? Then this is encouraging secret donations. So this is regarding the electoral bond scheme. So it says that the scheme needs to recognize the complementary nature of the rights of privacy and information. Then on the international page you have this coverage, the news which was there in the, the editorial covered uh, was also about this regarding Robert Mueller's counsel, the special counsel report giving uh, a reprieve to President Donald Trump. It says that there was no collusion, no, uh, that Russia and Trump did not come together, but there is no exoneration to it, has not been given a clean chip either. The entire timeline and the findings mentioned here. So it says Trump is triumphant after being cleared of collusion. So Mueller report finds no evidence that President's team worked with Russia. Then below you have May shelves plan for third vote on Brexit agreement. So this is regarding Brexit again. So British Prime Minister Theresa May says there would be no third vote because she acknowledges she doesn't still doesn't have support from major, majority of the MPs in Parliament. So we had seen few days back how European Union had given uh, deadlines that if the deal, uh, you know, this Brexit agreement is finalized or approved by the parliament in a week, then what? And if not, then how the uh, further extension will be given. But now it has been cleared that there will be no third vote. And below you have Golan Heights belongs to Israel. So US President Donald Trump again reiterates, he signs a proclamation stating so in presence of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And this is Pakistan police arrest seven over forced marriage of Hindu girls. That is seven people including a man who assisted in solemnizing the wedding of two teenage Hindu girls and the alleged abduction after the alleged abduction and forced convergence have been detained in Pakistan. There are reports of such forced convergence and marriages. So, in this context, this is the step being taken. That was the front page news yesterday. 
Then on business page you have norms shown for regulatory sandbox for fintech companies. So fintech sector. So what is a regulatory sandbox? We have discussed this earlier too. So it means regulations would come in a sandbox. A sandbox is like an experimental you know, scenario where you know, it has been tested. So, you know, so this will be there for financial, uh, financial technological sector, fintech sector. So this is there and this is IRDI moves public disclosure norms. So Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India has uh, put forth this proposal of public disclosure norms which requires insurers to share details about their financials and performance. And this is Government Moves National Company Law Tribunal seeking immunity for newly appointed directors of ILNFS arms. So this is to protect the appointees from any future adverse outcomes. So we'll see what NCLT rules on this matter. On page 14 you have US-China trade war poses the biggest risk to global stability, says IMF official. So this is regarding uh, International Monetary Fund official. It says fiscal stabilization needed to respond to economic shocks in Europe. Then on the last page here you have Chandrayaan 2 will carry NASA's laser instruments. Chandrayaan 1 also carried NASA instruments and even for Chandrayaan 2 plans are on for NASA instruments which will be carried here, laser instruments. So that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com and roll for the full current affairs video and you can also download the PDF daily current affairs PDFs. Thank you.